You've been trying to build your own custom database for your clients? Well, I'm here to give you that answer. And instead of using JotForm like I showed you in my previous video, we're gonna jump all those unnecessary steps and go straight to using Wix code. This is gonna be an awesome setup for you and it's gonna be easily or easy to capture your client's information and then display it on a dynamic page that's their dashboard. And it's pretty simple, pretty easy to use. This is gonna be a very basic video, not much design behind it, but just to explain to you what it's all about and how to get it started to get you on the right track. So guys, before we hop into that, if you haven't already, head over to wixmywebsite.com. This is my website. Get on this weekly Wix tips email list. Guys, it's already helping people out and I don't want to see you lag behind. I want to see you get the valuable tips that you deserve. And I send out very extremely valuable weekly Wix tips. Very extremely, I know. I threw my own words in there. And uh, and I send them out every week and I try to provide you know exceptional value with that and try to send out stuff that's really informational to you and my list. And um, I, I try my best to do that. So head over to wixmywebsite.com and sign up for those weekly, weekly Wix tips. Now let's uh, get started over here in our editor. So first we need to make sure developer tools are turned on. You can see that they are. And now we've got our tree over here. This is our site structure. Uh, we could minimize that or expand it just like that. That simple. You could even drag it. Yeah, bam. This isn't a Wix code tutorial, but I just want to show you a few tips. The first thing we need to do is we need to create a database because in this database is where all the client information will go. The client will submit a form with the information that uh, they have created, or actually, you know, we'll make it so that way you su submit a form with the client's information in it, and then it'll be displayed for the client to see on their client dashboard page. It's going to be real easy, real simple. So we go in here to the database, we click that plus, new collection, and we'll name it client database and then we're actually going to set up custom use sometimes this is easier because you get to set a few different parameters that I'll show you here although there are other ones like member generated content members only members only form submission or site content that means anyone can view it or anyone can submit it um, but in this case like I said we're gonna go custom use and then we set up custom permissions so who can read content from this collection in this case, we're going to want site member because we're going to want the client, one, to sign up for an account, and then two, we're going to want that client to have to be logged in so that way they can access their information and not everybody on the website can come see it. Who can create content for this collection? We're going to do admin. Who can update content? Admin. Who can delete content? Admin. We're going to have the admin in charge of all of this content going into that database that's displayed on the dynamic page. A lot of times if you're dealing with clients, most likely the admin is the website owner, the business owner, whoever that is. And in most cases, they're the ones uploading that information. Your site member doesn't have to touch it. And this is where we differ a little bit from member profile pages to um, client dashboard. This is the one major change here. I mean, there's a lot of them, but this is one of the big ones. And then we click and set and create collection. Now that our database is finished, kind of, set up, we actually have to go ahead and add the fields we want. So these are the fields we want to collect from our client and display it on their dynamic page. So we're just going to go basics here, guys. Uh, I'll go full name, and it's a text field. I will go email, address, also a text field. Um, I will go... Let's see, what else do I want to go here? Uh, I'll go profile, picture, and this is an image, bingo. Um, I will go, what else guys, help me out here even though you're not here. Um, what else would a client have? Oh yeah, let's go um, total payment, and we will also go with the text field there, total payment due, text field there, and um, and yeah, I mean, we'll just rock and roll with that. Guys, you need to create the fields that you want for your client and whatever you want to display on their dashboard. Obviously, most likely, most of your databases are going to be very long and spread out with a ton of fields, um, depending on what you're doing for your client. In this case, I'm just giving you an example with these basic ones. So now that we have our database collected, our connect, connect now that we have our database created, 
what we need to do is we need to create a form that us the admin could fill out that will automatically just send that information to the database so that way it can be displayed on the dynamic page uh, so let's just go up here we'll go to pages we'll click add page I'll just add a page there's not going to be any design to it I'm just going to show you what you got to do so we're going to come over to here to add we're going to go to user input and then we are just going to drag out some form fields so we know we need their name and then I'm going to copy and paste it we need their email and uh, we need a profile picture so let's scroll down to uh, well I sense change file add file either way and then we also need total payment due and these will be those fields what we now do is click settings I'm going to change this to add your full name and bam everything's set up there it's required and then for this one I'm gonna put add your email address required bingo change file this is already set up as needed uh, I'll say we'll change that to upload profile picture bingo just like that and then down here um, we will be putting total payment due again guys um, we us the admin are going to be uploading to this form so it's just what we we need to put our little key phrases in here that we need to use to remember okay this is this is the field I need to collect so that you're not making it fancy or anything like that you're simply making yourself a utilitarian form that you could submit to the database really it's an added step you you could just technically add the information you need to the database but sometimes it's in my opinion it's actually easier just to upload the information needed to a form and it's quicker and then it just submits to the database and automatically goes to the dynamic page um, so after we have that information we need a submit button so we're gonna go down to button we'll just we'll say contact us oh my gosh don't want that and then um, we'll just put it here I'll change the text to submit no we're not adding a link and then once we have our submit button there now what we have to do is we have to go back to add and we have to add our data set this is like the glue to um, your your database so this will connect your form data to your database consider it the glue so your data sets the glue this connects the information that's submitted in here and automatically tells it to go to here so it's nice it's convenient it's simple you're just gonna double click on it make sure it's set up we want to choose a collection and we want it to go to client database and then you want the mode to be write only because they're not reading this we're simply writing in here and we're submitting data so we want it write only now that we have that we can then go ahead and connect our fields to the database so you click on this field you'll see these connect to data buttons you'll simply click this and then you'll see since the glue is already on the page it simply connects to the client database and you just have to connect it to the correct value in this case full name bingo and you'll see it's green when the connection has been successfully made then we'll go to email and we'll do the same thing all the way down connect it with the correct one go to profile picture connect it with profile picture bingo total payment due connect it with total payment due bingo and then our submit we're gonna click connect to data and then we're gonna say link connects to submit and then you could actually add success and failure messages and then when successful you could actually choose which page or link happens after that the after the form has been submitted in this case we're just gonna stay on this page make it quick simple for us then quick simple tip make sure you save your work we'll just save it as client database bingo you save your work we're not done yet that's just a quick save along the way and then as that's saving bingo so now that we have our form our database we actually need to create the dynamic page so the dynamic page is going to be the page that automatically sub, uh, creates your content based off of your form submission so let me show you here we're gonna go back and this time we're gonna add a page except it's gonna be a dynamic page we're gonna start creating 
Okay, so this is an item page because it's going to show one single client. If you were showing recipes or wedding events or a product catalog, anything like that, you'd be showing a category page. But it will connect to client database and it will be an item page. We'll then click next and then you could actually set a custom URL. So we're currently not using this title field. However, we're going to do full name. So we'll do www whatever your website is slash client database slash their full name whatever they submit or whatever technically you submit in that form and then you simply click create page once you've created the page you will see the dynamic data set is automatically added again this is your glue this tells your page that you're going to be taking information from client database and putting it into this page but we actually have to go ahead and design the page. So we're just going to go with a very basic design. Um, let's go with image. And we'll open my image uploads. Let's just see. Um, well, my brother's got, he's, he does some rap music. So we'll throw a picture of him on here. And then we'll just, I'll go with some very simple design here, guys. Um, we'll go here, add a nice little design, fix it up a little bit. And I'm sure you guys can guess what this field is going to be. This is going to be profile picture. We'll throw it right here. Bingo. And then we want their full name in here. Again, you're going to be doing this for each, um, each field, guys. So each field you have, you're going to be doing this. Bingo. And then we'll just say Justin Strauch. That's my brother also known as Ellsworth Unknown on SoundCloud. Check them out if you guys like rap music. So profile picture, name right there, and then we're gonna come back here to text, and then we're gonna add email right under that. Come in here, and then we'll put email. And then whatever their email is, we'll go right there. And then the last thing is total payment due. So we'll just come in here, add a, handy dandy little box here we will change the color up a little bit we'll go here bingo we will come down here again I'm not going with any design guys I'm simply showing you this to show you the functionality we will shrink this a little bit we will change the color to white and we will change this to total just like that okay so this is your dynamic page your dynamic page your initial dynamic page should simply be used to design how you want it to look for each client. So this page is almost like a placeholder. What you need to do now is now that you have your data set on the page, you double click it, make sure you have the right one up here, it's connected to that, and then you're gonna want it on read only because they're just gonna read it. And you simply do what we did with the forms. So you'll come here to profile picture, you'll click connect to data, and then you'll say image source connects to profile picture just like that and then you'll come right here to first name and you'll connect to data and you'll come here and go up full name connect it just like that email same thing and again it turns green when you successfully do it bingo right there and then total you come right here to connect to data connect it to where are we at here total payment due and then it turns green and this page right here, again, this is horribly designed by me, but this will be your page that's you know well thought out and designed. This is your actual client database. This is where you need to put some thought into it. And then this is where you connect all the fields. Now, if we save it, and then we go back to our um, new page with our form on it, we'll submit some data. Let's do it. So we'll go here. We'll just say... Michael Strauch will add my email, computermd of Gilbert at gmail.com. We'll add a, a beautiful picture of the one and only Michael Strauch. Let's find one. Uh, let's go back into senior pictures. I like this picture. And my total payment due is going to be $1,500 today. Oh, not that. Um, and then we're going to click submit. And then we will see that it has been submitted. And now that it's been submitted, we will go back to the editor, see if it's been added to the database. Let's check. It has. Bingo, bingo, bongo. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go to client database. And if we do this correctly, let's just see. I'll just publish this site just for the heck of it. 
Um, we will test the URL, so view site. You can see we have our URL here, and now if I go forward slash Michael Strauk, my dynamic page should pop up. Let's check. Interesting, 404 error. Well, we don't want that, so let's go back here. Let's make sure everything's okay, and let's sync, sync here. We're gonna sync our database. This is our sandbox, and we're gonna sync it with our live database. So we're gonna copy all items to live, and we will see if that makes a little bit of a difference here, because if we come here, client database, there we go. All right, so now, if we uh, go back here, click publish again, now we should we should get a better result. Let me grab that URL, go here, client database, slash client database, slash Michael Strauk. Nope, nope. Still had an error. Let's go back. Let's check. Again, this is part of the problem solving phase, guys. You come in here. Um, aha, there's a dash. Okay, so big time, big time, big time, big time. So let's go back. Let's try that again. Um, it was also, I don't know if you noticed, but if you come here, you can check in the database and you can check the link extension to see how it is. Client database is capitalized. That is another key factor I may have missed and then you'll see a dash between Michael and Strauk. So if we go back to publish and view site, we come back in here, slash client database, slash Michael dash Strauk. Let's see if that makes a difference. Looks like we don't have permission, bingo. Wanna know why we don't have permission? Let's go back, client database, edit permissions. The reason we don't have permission right now is because we're not currently logged in. But if I change this to anyone, I can go back because you had to be a site member. If I publish it, we'll come back here. You guys get to see all this problem solving. And then we'll go here, refresh the page. Now I can view it because it's not, uh, I, I'm not logged in and it's available to anyone. And it's just that simple, guys. It's that simple to work through. Um, and it's that simple to create a client dashboard again. There's more in depth You're gonna have more fields more more to it, but it's that simple to create So if this video helped you guys out, please drop me a like down below comment if you have any questions at all And then let me know if you kind of liked that debugging there um, to try to work through my own issues You know even us web designers have some issues sometimes we always have to work through things That's why we always budget time into projects It's all part of the gig and just like that. That's how you work through problems here in Wix if you enjoy this video, please drop a like down below. Again, comment if you have any questions at all. Don't forget to subscribe to me here on YouTube, ComputerMD of Gilbert, and then head over to WixMyWebsite.com, and don't forget to get on these weekly Wix tips email list. Guys, I would love to have you on there. I look forward to seeing you on there, and thank you for spending a couple minutes with me. Have an excellent rest of your days.